Hi everyone, welcome to the Creative Cove. My name is Michelle and thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to play with some metallics. I collected a little bit of metallics for the last couple of weeks um, with paints, uh, whatever's on the discount shelf. I picked up some stress, uh, Distress Oxide from Michaels. I have um, some pencil crayons, gold, silver, and I picked up some really cheap um, uh, foil, uh, gold leaf foil from the dollar store. I had no idea they sold it there. I was so happy to see it because this stuff's usually very expensive, um, but it's so much fun to play with. So I wanna incorporate some of that today. So I have no idea where we're gonna go with this and just gonna have some fun with it and see what, uh, what comes of it. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to use some, I always like to uh, grunge up my page. So I'm going to use this uh, Distress Vintage Photo. And I think I'd like to go for something like a an old kind of French country vibe maybe with this. I'm just using a piece of cardstock. Uh, it's kind of like a soft off-white color to start with just happened to be in my little repertoire. Um, I use this paper a lot actually. I'm not sure where I even got it from, but I love it. I'm just gonna move this around. Just kind of dirty it up a bit. I'm gonna try and stay in frame. I've got my camera really close and I'm hoping that <laughs> it stays straight. I don't even know if my camera's straight. There, how about that? All right. I really do need a new setup. There, I think that's better. There's nothing worse than watching something crooked. Okay, there, hopefully that works for you guys. Um, also, as you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, I love to use this stamp. This is just a, a stamp, a wood stamp, and I pulled the, the rubber off because I like to use just part of it, not all of it. So I'm gonna rub some of this on and just put some wording in. And of course it's illegible for the most part. It's really just a textural element that I like to use. And I've been using this a lot through my uh, botanical journal that I've been working on. So uh, you can use any stamp, you can use anything you've got for this project. Like I said, I'm not even sure where I'm going with it. It just felt like playing with metallics. So I'm gonna spritz some of this on. Let's see what this does. Ooh, that's interesting. I wonder if I can soften it at all. All right, well, that's that. It's kind of fun. It'd be nice to be able to maybe control the amount a little more. And it evaporates very quickly. I've never used this spray before, so it's uh, new for me. I'm just playing with it. Kind of different. So that's the Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. So that's kind of fun. I mean, you can do lots of projects with that, I'm sure. I'm gonna dip into some of this uh, Craft Smart uh, Multi-Purpose Premium Ultra Bright Metallic Paint. I think I got it, uh, Radiant Gold it's called. I think I got it um, at Michael's. So I'm just going to throw some of this on. I'm just gonna rub it in. I like to work dry, a very dry brush. I don't wanna overload my paint. When I work on paper, I've got something under here too. I think it's giving me a funny ridge. Let's throw some of this on. And again, I don't know where I'm going, whether I'm gonna like it. I can always cover it up with something, but it's about having fun and playing with some different mediums. So I guess this would be a mixed medium piece. And I just have a cheapy dollar store brush. Let's put some of this in, which is a, uh, I can't, and let's put the lid back on so I can show you. I got it on the discount shelf at Michael's and it is a matte metallics Americana decor flat metal paint. And I'm not sure what color this is. I guess it's a copper. Uh, sorry, aged bronze it's called. So, and I got it for five bucks. So there you go. 
Sometimes you can find little, little jewels like this and this paint will probably go a long way. So let's dab some of that on. And it's got a very pretty blingy shine to it, which is really nice. And I really hope I'm still in the camera here. The camera is right at my eye level. So I can't really see what you're looking at. So I'm gonna hopefully stay where I need to stay. So you can see. So that's kind of pretty. Just to add some dimension. There we go. You can always play with that some more and throw it throw more on. Um, let's see. I have scrap papers here too. It would be kind of fun to tear some stuff up and and add it. I'm just gonna take a scrap piece of paper. I'm not overly thinking anything. I just want to play with it. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> but that's that's what makes it fun. Let's dirty this up a little bit. So we can use the leftover paint for that on my brush. Just to tone it down a little so you can see the difference between the starkness and the toned down version. It's just a little bit easier on the eyes. There we go. So we can glue that. Actually, maybe we'll put something behind it. Something to offset it, maybe. This is just, uh, I think it's brown paper packaging. So I think I need a bigger piece. There's a bigger piece. It'd be fun to do a drawing on this, actually. Let's try this. this maybe just this <laughs> like I said I have no idea where I'm going with it just want to have some fun let's try that let's try to uh, put a drawing on this uh, let's try some cosmos so I'm just gonna use my 0 0.8 um, technical drawing pen I'm just gonna scrub in a center and I can do this quickie sketch on this on how to draw these little cosmos. Add it to my cookie sketch tutorial. So again, just nice and quick. I love quickie sketches. Just rub that in a little bit. We'll add a little interest to the page here. More texture. And let's give it a stem. And then maybe another one behind it. Uh, shrink it down a little. There, let's, I like that. Let's color that in maybe with a little bit of gold. Let's throw some gold in there. So you can see it work really quick. I don't want to overthink it. You sit there and hum and ha about what to put. And then I find it that it gets kind of stressful. It's not in, as enjoyable than if you just go for it and not worry about the in outcome at all. Here's some white pencil crayon going in just for a pop of color, just to make it stand off the page just a little bit. I hope my hand's not in the way. Oh, that's kind of fun. So let's, uh, I've showed you how to use in other videos, how to use this varnish technique. So this is just a fusion mineral paint varnish and I've used it to do some pressed flowers with. And uh, basically it's a furniture varnish and I'm really loving the effect it has with paper. Um, it has a shiny finish, which kind of suits this whole metallic feel, in my opinion. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit more on. 
we'll let that dry while we play with the other side. And see, I haven't uh, really used it on this paper before, so we'll see. Hopefully it dries relatively flat. I'm just gonna push it out, let that dry. Put my brush in some water. So let's leave that for a bit. I'm gonna move to this side. Make sure I'm still straight here. Oh, what can we do over here? So maybe we could um, play with some gold leaf. Uh, let's find my brush. And I just put it in the water, so I'm just gonna dry it off. And I wanna use some glue for this. So I don't have any glue still, so I'm gonna use some varnish. I figure why not, let's give it a try. So I am just gonna kinda dab the varnish random. And then I'm gonna take a piece of the gold leaf. And this stuff is very, very thin and delicate. So it can be quite finicky, but it's also a lot of fun. So you'll see, I'll get it everywhere. It's usually stuck to my fingers and stuck to the floor, but I still can't help but use it because it's just so much fun to use. We'll throw some over here while it's wet. And we'll just let that sit for a minute on any wet on any wet spots. Let's put a little bit up here. And we'll dab the glue. So wherever you put the glue, in this case the varnish, is where the foil will stick. So if you wanted to say fill in these leaves, you would just paint those leaves and that's exactly where the glue will sit. Uh, the the um, sorry the gold leaf will sit. It adheres to the glue and rubs off anywhere there's no glue. Uh, let's see if we need some more. I was so excited this was at the dollar store. I'm not sure what I paid for it. I would imagine a, at least a dollar fifty. But I was so excited because this stuff was always so expensive. I mean, I don't think you get tons of sheets in here, but just even like, so you don't have to shell out a fortune just to um, try something, you know? So I'm just gonna now rub off with a pen brush, anything that didn't stick. And you can see when you do it like this, you never know what the results are gonna be, which is kind of fun. And then I will put a little bit more gold leaf, uh, sorry, a little bit more glue in a couple of spots and reuse some of this I've brushed off. So I'll take these little bits and pieces, try and make, try and stretch it as much as I can. Because like I said, I'm used to it being so expensive. I want it to go a long way. And you can see it's very delicate. So you're either gonna love working with it. It also comes in copper and silver. And it is really fun if you're uh, gonna give it a go for um, getting results that you're, you're kind of open-minded to and you're not quite sure how it's gonna turn out. This is fun stuff for that. So I'm just gonna slowly brush this off. Let that other part dry a bit and clean this up. Oh, what a fun result already. Like it adds just another element of texture. And we're starting to create all this fun depth going on here, which adds so much interest to the page. So I think next, maybe we'll, since we've got the varnish out, maybe we will use some dried flowers. Because you, if you follow my video, you'll know I'm a little dried flower obsessed. <laughs> um, so I just took a few out and didn't take tons out. I thought maybe this Queen's Anne's lace would be nice and delicate. I'm trying to get it to show up is the trick. And it's, I'm not sure what this is, but this is really pretty too. Just another way of using dried flowers. This guy's a little bit too bold, I think, for the look I'm after, which is just kind of like a soft country thing. So I think these um, hydrangeas would be fitting. 
very soft, a little bit hard to see, but still kind of give off a little interest, a little design element. So maybe what we'll do is put in a couple of lines and I think, uh, oops, I just put my finger in the paint. Um, I think because we've got some black line here, maybe we'll use the black ink for that. Uh, so I've got this ink, I'm not sure where I got it. And I don't know much about ink, so I don't know if this is gonna bleed or smear, but we're gonna give it a try and see what we think about it. So I like to give myself a place to journal. And I just, I like to give myself some straight lines. This is from Stampin' It Up, um, 2002, it says. So, and it also, even if you don't write on this space, it also just gives you a um, another textural element to your paper. So there's some journaling space, or you can just leave it as a texture. That's kind of fun too. All right, let's finish this off here. We get too messy and wipe off any that did not dry. And move that out of the way. Okay, make sure I'm straight. Hopefully I'm straight. Okay, let's see. So this kind of looks pretty here. Maybe we'll go a little darker back there so we can see it. Let's see, do I have a pencil crayon? Darken that up a bit so this is a dark brown. I'm just going to rub it over top. You could use ink for that too, I suppose. So, again, multimedia, just using whatever I can get my hands on. I want to darken this up just so this guy shows up a little bit more so you can see the contrast. And I think I'm going to make his stem a little shorter like that and then maybe for this guy as well move him over here I'm kind of move it around the page and see what we like I think I'd like it right here so again just gonna darken up we can use that copper paint as well if we want I'm just gonna move this I think I've got a hot glue here or something <laughs> I'm thinking I'm all neat and organized for once Nope, not me. So you can see it's leaving texture on my page, which is okay. I think I will use some of that copper paint. I don't like the look of that pencil crayon on its own. I'll pop that. And then we'll use this over here, which I kind of like. So you can see I'm very impatient. I don't wait for things to dry. I'm in the zone. I want to get things done and I want to I want to play with the next part and as you see like your imagination starts to go and the more you use these different bits and pieces the more ideas start to snowball. And what about another piece of brown paper? I don't want to cover up my my foil, but something like that might be fun. Could draw another flower. What should we draw? I will just do another another Cosmo just so it ties in. Do one a little bit more on the side. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so you see, very loose. Just have fun with it. Don't stress. That's uh, what I like to do when I journal. If I find it stressful, I don't enjoy the the um, experience and it kind of turns me off doing it and then I migrate to something else. So I try to keep myself as relaxed as possible. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right, a little sketch there and I wanna lose this guy. 
And we'll just color him in real quick with some white. Just play with these metallics. A little gold. Just gold pencil crayons or silver or whatever colors appeal to you. Copper, usually Crayola crayons have um, that sort of thing in their packages. These are Prisma colors, but you can use whatever you've got. All right, let's glue some stuff down. So I'm gonna put this here. Then I'm gonna put this guy here. And we are, oops, I'm gonna put this guy up here. Queensland's lace is so pretty. I hope you guys are able to see the detail. A little bit extra glue on that, or varnish, sorry, just because it's quite thick, the stem. We want to make sure it's stuck. And we'll put this rest of this hydrangea, pressed hydrangea, here. There we go. I'll let that dry. Hmm, let's see what else we can do. What else have we got in our little repertoire? So I have some silver. I'm gonna add a little bit of cool to the page just for some contrast if we wanted. So I'll throw in a little bit of silver in here. Just a little, because I do like the warmth that all these copper colors have added. But it's still fun to go in a little surprise. And there we have a, kind of a fun metallic page. And I'm just gonna see if I move it this way, if you guys can really see all the details and the sh shine to it all. And there's a little page to add and you can journal in here. And what's really nice is you can write over top of this varnish. Uh, once it's dry, it will let you write on it. Now that's not dry. So I can't really show you that just yet. Um, where's my pen? Here it is. But so the varnish is kind of spread out, but you can, uh, you can color around it. So let's see if any of it's dry yet. Not really. It's just starting to dry. So if you really wanted to pull the side of this paper out, you can darken the edge a little bit, add even more texture in. So you can see it's not quite dry, which is why it's giving me this kind of rippled texture because the varnish is rolling a little bit with the, with the pencil crayon. I wish it was dry so I could show you. So we did varnish over here. So now I can go over top and kind of throw in some shading in between and darken and really pull some of that gold leaf right out of the page. This is still a bit wet over here. You can go in over top of the varnish again and bring out some more color if you want. Go back in with the gold. Really pop the, the gold on top. Might be a bit hard to see on the camera. There's the gold. Hopefully you can see. So there you go. There's some uh, a really fun way to uh, play with metallics and different mediums. So paint, ink, paper, pencil crowns, pressed flowers, <laughs> uh, stamps, everything. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it gives you some inspiration and some ideas on how to use a collection of different materials and tie them into uh, a journal that suits the, the theme and style that you're working on. So uh, if you like that, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It really helps my channel. And um, click the notification button if you'd like to see more. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day. Bye.